Slack tutorial 2022, how to use Slack for beginners. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use slack.com. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna click on try for free at the top over here. And then you can get started for free with Slack. Now, Slack has a free version and it also had paid versions. And we're going to be discussing that at the end of this video. So what you're going to do over here is first off, you're going to continue with either your Google account or your Apple account, or you can continue with your email. So I'm just going to continue with my Google account and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Now, once you have signed up and entered your details, you're just going to click on create a workspace over here. And this is going to open up a new and basic workspace for you to get started on. Now, once you do that, this is just going to load up my new workspace. Now you can create multiple workspaces on one account as well. So let's just name this to be pink company. And I'm just going to click on next. And then you can progress or add like a main event for your team or for your overall sales channel over here. But let's just say we want to do marketing and i'm just going to click on next now after that you're going to add your emails so it could be the top people that you are frequently contacting so it could be at like mm, i'm just going to add myself to show you guys what it's going to look like like this is just me and i'm just going to add myself and once i have done that i'm just going to click on add teammates and now this is going to launch my little channel for communication on Slack. Now, Slack provides you with a premium experience of communication. So you're going to be able to communicate with your teammates via Slack. And Slack really does help you out in managing day-to-day -day tasks with any kind of business. So that is why I really do like Slack and how it is pretty usable even as a beginner. Now, I'm just waiting for my redirection to work and i'm just going to click on use slack in our in your browser now you also can download the application for slack if you want or you can just use it on the web browser that is totally up to you if this is a ongoing project and you have to do frequent communication you might want to download the applications or if you're just communicating in within work hours then you can just use the web browser version of slack now you can see over here that I can add more teammates as well. Now you can see that I have this pink company and what I can do over here is I can first off, I can obviously change up the name of anything or add new messages. But after that, if I actually click on the pink company, I can just go into invite people and I can just create a different channel. So if I click on create channel, uh, I can do uh, idea generation so i can add a idea generation channel and i can choose to make this private or not so uh if i make this private then this is going to be a invite only or view only channel for certain people or i can make it public but once a channel is public it cannot be made private so i'm just going to click on create and what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this i'm just going to click on create over here and this will create a new communication channel. Now I can choose specific people via email or name that are going to join this, or I can add like specific members or all members of the company. That's totally up to me, but I'm just going to skip for now. So this is how easy it is to create a simple channel on Slack. Now, after you have a channel on Slack, you can choose to start it. So if this is like an important channel where you need constant updates and you want to be able to constantly communicate, you're just going to start the channel and this is going to appear at the top of your channel. So it's going to appear above the original channels bar and you can remove from start once it is not as important. And then you can enable notifications and then start calls on your channels as well now on your slack application you can add different upgrades and integration so if you go on to the integrations you can click on add an app and then you can view the app directory so there are a lot of different apps that you can link with your slack account so it could be anywhere from a, a sms app to amazon apps to uh, project management apps or google drives even so you can share different data over slack as well so you can link the google drives of your company onto slack and this will help you share data on slack directly now after that you have your general preferences for slack so you have your notifications 
mentioned sidebars the different themes that you want so you can make it a dark theme or a light theme and then you can choose the color that you want there are different templates available and you can choose one according to your team or according to your company or business so if, if it's like the pink company i can make this like pink and then after that you have your preferences and then you have general settings and administration so you can click and change the workspace settings of your overall channel so if you want specific uh, guidelines so if someone cannot join your workspace via link or if you want this to be like a exclusive only channel you can set certain guidelines for the channel as well now after that you have a workflow builder on slack now if we click on over to the workflow builder, it will open this in the new tab. Now, once you have your workflow builder, you can set up different welcomes for your teammates. You can have a overall daily check-in for your tasks, or you can create like a quick way for teammates just exchange information as well so let's say we want a daily uh, setup so you can create a simple workflow so you can just click on create over here and start building a simple workflow using slack but all of these features even creating a workflow from scratch all of these features are only available on the premium version of slack so you will have to upgrade onto the premium version and there are uh, many different plans you can opt for on slack and not only do they have a free version but they have three other plans as well now, before I move on to show you guys the different versions available and different plans available for Slack, I'm just going to show you guys some of the other key features that you're going to find, which is different and multiple workspaces. So you can click on find workspaces and I have created more than one workspace over a single email without purchasing any premium versions of Slack, which I found to be very helpful because if I go on and I want to like manage different businesses using the same communication channel, I can do that with a separate workspace so this really helps me in simplifying my work and this will help you in generally just managing different businesses or different workflows at the same time so you can just click on create a new workspace and then you can start building your new workspace as well using slack so this is how easy it is to get started with slack as a beginner now you can see that Slack has the free version and on the free version, you get access to 10,000 of your team's most recent messages. You have 10 integrations with Google Drive, uh, Microsoft Office, and one-to-one -one voice and video calls between teammates. Now on the pro version, which starts at $7 almost, uh, if it is billed monthly, it starts at like six sixty-seven. but if you bill it yearly, you can get a better deal. But what you get is your entire message history. You have face-to-face -face communication with up to 15 group members. So you can have video calls and uh, you can have voice calls for up to 15 people. And you can have a secure collaboration with guests from within the organization or from other organizations using Slack. But on their Business Plus version, which starts at $12.50, you have the general data export requirements met. You also have round-the-clock teamwork and assistance. And you also have advanced identity management through a SAML based SSO and real time active directory sync. So that is something that is a bit more complex for people that need to clock in or clock out of work. That is something I find more useful in those situations. And then you have the enterprise grid, which obviously you have to negotiate the price for that depending on the size of your company. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to determine how you should use Slack and and what kind of plan you should opt for make sure to leave a like and a subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video